I guess. I'm Hi, coach. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Coach, what does it mean for you to be out here? Um, well, I mean, it's just great to see everybody that's that's come out and that's tried to help this community. Um, we're just a small part of, of a large community that's trying to, to get some supplies and then help people wherever we can. Yeah, talk to us about what you've seen so far and just what's going on in your mind. What you've seen. Well, I mean, it's just a lot of... Um, a lot of damage you know a lot of people's homes have been um, taken away from them and obviously there's been a lot of people that are out there in those streets that we've passed bringing supplies down that are willing to help I mean, people have charging stations people have food and, and people have set different things up people are grabbing chainsaws guys are walking down the street with chainsaws so um, you know it's really cool to see and it's an honor to be a part of it Mike, can you describe what that night was like for you and, and just how it unfolded you well I mean that you know I mean I'm not gonna I mean, listen, we, we, there was nothing that, that hit our house. I didn't really realize what the damage was until I got down to work and you see the power and you realize, like, I've been coming this way for two years to work and, you know, it's pretty dark. Like, you know, something's, something happened a lot worse than, than the rain and the wind that I got at, at, at our house. Um, and the power was out of our building and then you started to see things in Germantown and East Nashville and um, certainly friends that we have in Mount Juliet and, you know, so again, it's, um, it's, it's the effect is not on, on us, you know, we, we're okay, but it's about the, the community and, and the people that, um, you know, really were affected. How good was it to see a whole busload of your players coming out here too to, to jump in? Well, again, they, they were reaching out to us, you know, about, hey, um, whenever, what, what are we doing? What are we going to do? And again, a lot of this is planning. You have to let the first responders come in and um, figure things out and start to clean things up and figure out what you actually need. Um, and at that point in time, you know, the organization was able to put together some things, um, partner with people, get supplies down here, um, and, and that's what we're doing now. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, Kevin mentioned that, I guess, Austin's home here in Nashville took a, took a pretty significant day. Were you able to talk to him at all? I did, and just thankful that everybody was okay and, you know, that they weren't injured. And as a matter of fact, um, you know, those things can be replaced. It's, you know, the people that lost their lives and uh, a couple that have been married for 58 years and a couple that have a two-year-old son, those things, we can't buy those things back. And that's, I think, what hit me the most when I saw those pictures this morning. What's, Mike, what has the appreciation been like from maybe some of the people you've encountered here, either living this community or councilmen or, or people that have been affected? Well, again, everybody, they're thankful for whether the, the Titans and, and Kevin Byard or, or any of us come down. It's just people helping um, each other. Um, like I said, having been through this uh, in Houston a little bit, everybody has their own way of helping. You know, people drive around with pre-made lunches and sandwiches. People bring charging stations. Uh, Papa John's brings pizza, and you know, we're able to bring some guys that can some move some branches and carry pallets of water around, and it's been great. Coach, I spoke with a guy who earlier who said, you know, it means a lot to know that these guys who are millionaires, the people we see on TV, are actually coming out here help us lift stuff out of our homes, you know, what does that mean to you to well, know that people say that? Yeah, yeah. for them. No, I, I, do. I mean, it, it's, it's obviously, you know, we're very thankful and grateful for what we get to do um, and the jobs that we have, but the, our, our motto at the Titans is there's no job too small to help us win, and I hope that we all take that. Um, we're all affected. We have the same issues and same problems that everybody else does, except we just get to coach and play football, and so now as this affects our community, it affects us.